Hello, Scorpio. Rambling Mike here. We're gonna play some tarot cards with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time, Scorpio. I wanna let you know how I do my rotation as I draw from a deck. Scorpio, you're up. I love this picture right here. Love Scorpio. Let's play some tarot, huh? I want to thank you, uh, Scorpio, for this Four of Pentacles. Jumped out. I want to thank you for all of your likes, of course, all of your subscribes, all of your fun comments. You know I love your comments, Scorpio. They're the, they're the best. I want to thank you for all of you that reached out and blessed me with uh, donations. Thank you very much for that. And also all my Scorpio friends that have reached out and uh, done personal readings with me. Wow, I love you guys. It's always a blessing to get to know each and every one of you personally. This reading here will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of June 2018. Love and relationships. Relationships of all kinds. You know, we're very busy people. A lot going on in our world. Work, home, family. You know, I'm not the only tarot card reader here. You read these cards along with me. I'm going to primarily be focusing on love. That is what I like to read for the best. We all know there's no possible way these can be for every Scorpio on the planet. Sun, moon, and rising. So if these generals resonate with you, run with it. And if they don't, what are we going to do? Throw it out. That's right. All my cross watchers, you're absolutely welcome here. I love you guys. I think it's smart to go ahead and take a look at what your loved ones may be up to. You know, it is tarot. Hmm? Lastly, oh, I want to tell you that these may play out from your perspective, even though I'll be saying Scorpio a lot, my cross watchers. Lastly, uh, if you want a private reading from me, all that info is down below on how to contact me. Uh, let me know if you want a phone reading or a video recording, and we'll go from there. Thank you, my friends. All right, let's play some tarot. I have been shuffling the cards here for a while, meditating on Scorpio. Let's go with that right there. Tune in here. Hey, tarot, hey, love team. Scorpio's here to play with us. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help Scorpio hear what they need to hear. Help me see what I need to see right here. Let's take all these amazing pictures and let's get a nice, truthful, clear story for Scorpio today. Thank you so very much for that, love team. Can't do this without you. Appreciate you. Here we go, Scorpio, cutting the deck. Scorpio, first card out is a face card. It's the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, this guy right here, you know, he has great potential. And uh, great potential to be a great father, great husband, you know, balanced, grounded. Um, Interesting, you know, right in the middle of your spread, right in the middle of your heartbeat right here, Scorpio. I know Scorpio been dealing with it for a while. I so want, you know, that sweet read for you. Let's see where it goes, guys. The problem with this guy right here, to be honest with you, you know, is a little focus on that coin right there. But he does have the Midas touch. He is grounded. He is balanced. Or she is, she is balanced and grounded. Uh good at taking care of things, keeping the lights on and all that fun stuff. Great potential right here, but definitely somebody focused on the coin. Let's see where this goes, up or down. Here we go, right there, Scorpio. The Princess of Cups. You know, this is my uh, little princess of love right here. She lives in the love palace with her devoted family by the sea. She loves to go down there by that sea. Ocean of emotions, you know. Pick up seashells and pieces of sea glass. She likes to make talismans because she is becoming spiritual. You know, she's talking to that fish in that cup right there. 
Princess is always talking about messages coming in for you. Messages of love. I like this. I like this way this is opening up for you, Scorpio, right here. Our King of Pentacles right there, who I said, you know, there's potential to be a great catch right there. Cross with that Princess of Pentacles. Let's see where this goes right here. <clears throat> Distant past. Three of Pentacles right here. You know, all street tarot right here, Scorpio. Uh, many of you know, this is uh, talks about third party to me. Uh, Three of Pentacles is always about um, working on something that's important to you. We see the one guy up on scaffold right there. He's definitely working on the situation all by himself. And there's two other people down here working on this, the relationship or the situation with each other. This is somebody uh, that uh, more than likely has been developing a relationship with somebody else, probably this king right here. Um, let's see, let's see where this goes. That was in the distant past, probably something that Scorpio already knows about. Yeah, here we come, huh? The lover, where's this, where's this story going here? Yeah? I love it, sweet messages of love coming in for you, Scorpio, probably somebody that's uh, been playing with somebody else. Here's the lover coming in, you know, in the recent past. Uh, Show them back up for you one more time. This is the lover. Makes the heart go boom, daddy, boom, 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 boom. You know, it's that knight in shining armor. Got all the emotions coming down on the situation. Up there on that old white steed. Here's my cup. You know, the situation with this... Uh, not this uh, night right here is that you can't see what's behind him right there. And that is that string of broken hearts because he's always on the quest to find love and to find love and to find love. See where it goes, Scorpio, huh? Seven of Cups. Yeah. Seven of Cups. Somebody's got a lot of options right here. Somebody, you know, ain't been playing with my Scorpio friends right. They come in and they play with you. They get what they want skedaddle back to go play with somebody else is what it looks like to me um, they do you know there is i mean these are love cards right here mm -hmm. there is absolutely love involved in this situation Let's see where this goes right here wow look at this scorpio immediate future you know as we go into june right here ace of pentacles ace of pentacles Always talks with me about new beginnings in the touchable, tangible realm. Shows the hand of the divine, giving that big golden coin. The Scorpio right there. You know, I can't be talking about money. Ace of Pentacles can also talk about money. And it can talk about money. Yeah, I love that right there. You know, being touchable, tangible... It can also talk about a relationship. Three of Pentacles in a love reading talks about a relationship with me as well. Um, somebody's had a lot of options. Somebody coming in and just playing with you. Um, possibly this earth sign right here. Do see this pinnacle, the same pinnacle that is being held by this uh, king right here, king of Pentacles, uh, being portrayed in the immediate future, you know. Something may come together here, man. Something may solidify for you here. Something that you've been working on for a while. Working on it by yourself, Scorpio. You know, playing with somebody that they got feelings for you, but uh, they haven't been playing with you right. I mean, Seven of Cups right up there. Bringing confusion into your life and everything else. You know, Seven of Cups always talks with me about knowing the fact that what you own, owns you as well, Scorpio. Hmm? Eyes wide open right here. Ace of Pentacles coming in for you right here. Can talk about a solid relationship. Can talk about all kinds of things. All kinds of wonderful things coming in for you, Scorpio. Look at all these Pentacles coming up for you, Scorpio. Right here. Princess of Pentacles coming in for you right here. With all these Pentacles right here, you know, Scorpio may be focusing on their coin. I like it. 
a lot of these readings have, uh, you know, if love ain't going right, people shift. <laughs> they just go to work. They just go make some money. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, uh, let's work on the bank account right here. But uh, this can be, you know, because that king right there and that ace right there, princesses always talk about messages coming in. This could be messages coming in from, for, from this earth sign. Of course, sun, moon, rising. Uh, you know, 3D. You know, the telephone. This isn't texting. This is meeting face to face, you know. With a new day dawning. You know, feeling that the price has been paid here. Stepping forward. Got the coin in her hand. A little piece of the harvest in her hand right there. You know, a new day dawning for you. You know, feeling it, seeing it, uh, Scorpio. I like it for you right here. I do. I do. Definitely something that you've been working on for a while. Three of Wands came up, Scorpio. You know, that's called my ships coming in. Ships coming in is what it's called. Shows him standing on the seashore, uh, seeing all five ships out there, um, using Law of Attraction to the best of his ability to manifest what he wants, but still waiting. You know, definitely been waiting, watching. Looking at this whole situation unfold, there's definitely love involved in the situation. Knowing the fact that what you own owns you, knowing the fact that they're probably been playing with other people, Seven of Cups, Three of Pentacles right here, but still believing for a brand new start to come in because there is love here, no doubt about it, uh, for many of you. Um, Three of Wands talks about putting your heart soul and strength into the situation also talks with me about all of the divine being with you uh, your ancestors loved ones higher self your angels helping you to get these ships to dock up mm -hmm. the only problem with all of this is there's free will involved in all of this and those five ships right there they have three of wands on their uh, boat as well uh, wondering if they're going to dock up here I like it though. It looks like some kind of breakthrough coming in for you because you've been believing, seeing it the way that you want it to be, knowing knowing that, uh, you know, eyes wide open. There you go right there. Ooh, Scorpio hopes right here, Wheel of Fortune. Hoping for good fortune to come in, you know. I like this for you. It is the uh, Wheel of Fortune. It is Jupiter. It, which is the planet of expansion, it has all, all four fixed elements on it. It is your first major so far. It has Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, all on this card right here. Um, you know, tired of going round and round with these karmic cycles, believing for the wheel to uh, come in an upward position for you. And no, no, you know, the truth of the matter is, is that we make the wheel go up. And dare I say, we make the wheel go down. Yeah, right here. Yeah, how we think, feel, believe about a situation changes our reality. You know, this is also a card of destiny. Destiny is that huge word, talks about the divine, making sure that we meet up with these people right here. So we sign contracts with them in the 5D. But us being the free will agents that we are, we have the right to decide if we're going to play with these people or not. We have the right to decide if we're going to play with a player or not, regardless of whatever we sign in 5D. But definitely hoping for good luck to come in. I'm telling you, it's all, you know, in our thought process because this is the manifestation that's coming in the near future. You know, outcome right here. <laughs> Four of Wands. Four of Wands. A happy ever after is showing up for Scorpio right here. I'm so happy for you guys. Four of Wands is that upgrade in the, you know, committed relationship right here. It's the uh, a great joy, great bliss. You see the loving couple right there dancing under the garlands, the four wands of passion right there, the one, 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 one card. It definitely talks with me about despise not the day of small beginnings because the Taj Mahal is behind him and the sun is shining on him right there. Hey, Scorpio, looks like you might be having some breakthrough here. 
I love it for you guys. Super excited for you. Definitely, definitely been working on it for a while. No doubt about it, Scorpio. Yeah, wow. Love it right here. Uh, bottom of the deck. Six of Wands. This is the triumphant return of the Sun King. Um, it is a card of victory. Coming out of the battle. I like, I like this situation for you, Scorpio. I like it a lot. Six of Wands, you know, coming in out of the battle. In victory, all your posse around you going, Scorpio, you did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they may have earth in their chart. They may have water in their chart. You got earth and water in all of this. There's some fire here as well. Definitely looks like there's going to be some communication and a turnaround in the situation for you that you've been believing for for a while. Definitely a strong soulmate bond here with Four of Wands as the outcome. Ace of Pentacles coming in for you, Scorpio. I love it for you very much. Still eyes wide open, huh? Uh, you know, this king right here, like I said, a little too focused on the coin many times, and these are not... Uh, the queen or the king of love. These are beginnings of love right here. But you know all this, Scorpio. I want to give you a thumbs up. I want to give you encouragement. Absolutely looks like uh, uh, you've been believing for something for a while here. Let's play with some of these Romance Angel cards, Scorpio. Yeah, here we go. Hey, Romance Angels. I like this read for Scorpio. Yeah, yeah, I do. Ooh, turn the page, my friends. I love it. Yes. Uh, three cards for uh, Scorpio, please, that uh, confirm uh, with this uh, reading. A little more enlightenment on it. A little more advice. Thank you, Romance Angels. Here we go. Here we go. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. No doubt about it with this card right here, Scorpio. This is a soulmate card to me. Dare I say this is a twin flame card to me. Mm, right up there at the top. Chemistry. Strong magnetic attraction. Wow. Yeah. All that uh, clearing of karma here. Lots of forgiveness, huh, Scorpio? But that don't mean we're going to let them come in and wipe their feet all upon us. That ain't happening. I like it. Turn the page here. Here we go. Why? Because you deserve love. You are lovable. This is a magic spread for you right here, Scorpio. I've been playing with you guys for a while. So wanted something nice to come out for you. I'm happy. I'm happy. Eyes wide open, though. You know what I'm talking about. Many of you are dealing with a twin flame. Eyes wide open. Hmm. Yes, here we go, here we go, here we go. Wow. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Mm-hmm. Definitely turn the page here. Definitely turn the page right here. Wow, love it for you, Scorpio. Victory coming in after the battle. Seven of Cups. Eyes wide open, okay? Definitely destiny unfolding here. Four of Wands unfolding here. I love my Ace of Pentacles right here. My, my Princess right here. Communication coming in. Mm -hmm. Probably from this Earth sign right here. Sun, Moon, Rising, of course. Sun, Moon, Rising, Scorpio. Here we go. Here we go. One more. One more major over this. Thank you very much. The Emperor. Wow, Aries seated, Aries seated in his power. Yeah, this is the emperor. He rules and reigns his empire. He's stable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got his armor on because he's been in the battle, but he's no longer in the battle. I see that right here coming out of the battle. He's just chilling in his chair. He knows he's, he knows he's large and in charge. He's just chilling, 
staring at his world right there. He's got his world in his hand. Got a scepter in his hand right there too. Has that onk up on top of it, which is some kind of soulmate twin flame symbol if you ask me. Got the circle up on top, the line in between it, underneath it right there. Very interesting spread, Scorpio. I love it for you. I think it's the best spread I've ever done for you, my friends. Definitely looks like you're turning the corner, but eyes wide open, huh? We learned a lot of life lessons. Yeah, probably going to be tested on him here. Sure looks like some kind of uh, soulmate twin flame thing that's turning around here for the better for you, Scorpio. I love it for you. Hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, Scorpio. Send me some comments. I know you will. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye for now.